So what's cooking across the border? I'm talking about the military with a country, Pakistan. It cannot be denied that the real ruler of Pakistan is the army. It always has been. And Imran Khan has come as a jewel in the military's crown, albeit a dim jewel. He's no more the flamboyant cricketer the world once knew. Imran Khan was known to be a liberal man with progressive values. There was a time when he boycotted general elections in Pakistan for the fact that they were being controlled by the Pakistan army. This was in 2008. Imran Khan once famously said that Pakistan's army generals are not trained to deal with human beings. Listen to this. I discovered that, the, that it's not the fault of generals. It's the institution which they come out of. They just don't have the vision to run a country. They are not equipped to deal with normal human beings. They don't understand uh, debate and consensus and stuff. And, then, and so, to, as Churchill once said, war is too serious a business for generals. I really believe that they, they're not equipped to make these decisions. They're just to, they should be given, you know, projects, okay, you know, go capture that hill. But when you, <laughs> but when you, when you tell them to run the country, it doesn't work. ...of this man, the court by Churchill, as he puts it, is wrong, by the way. Churchill did not say that. And this man is now the prime minister of Pakistan. It's well known who is controlling him and his country. It is often, he is often called a puppet in the hands of the Pakistan army. What was informed conjecture is now a matter of record. A minister in Imran Khan's administration has confirmed the influence that the army has over the Pakistan government. Sheikh Ahmed, Sheikh Rashid Ahmed, Pakistan's minister for railways, someone who is known to speak truth to power only that he often gets into trouble for doing so. Mr. Ahmed wanted to remove misconceptions about differences between the Pakistan army and Imran Khan. What he ended up doing was to confess that Imran Khan agrees with everything that the Pakistan army says. Imran Khan or Faj Fit, I see Google Femi at the Wadur Kaleme, Apke program, Mekaram, both are a bevukuf, Mujadin, Miltenji, a Talakat Harabog, eight line length. Tamam Bate, Imran Khan, Faj Ki Manta, or Faj Imran Khan Ke Pishak Hariye, is the other city city bath, may Apko Koini Kasakta, Apke program. Or a Kisiko Yehal Femi, a Faj Imran Khan Ke Pishak Nikari, to whoop in national government, Vivanale, or Wo in Tahabad, Nikrale, or Kumat Kobi Grale. जब वो उठेगा आगे इमरान खान ही होगा सो so, मैं नहीं देखता मैं अपनी सियासत में इतनी कोलेशन और इतनी अच्छी अंडरस्टैंडिंग आप देखें ना क्या हुआ है मीडिया में इतनी अच्छी कॉम्बिनेशन आप सोच सकते हैं एक चेहरा भी चाहिए था टीवी पे चेहरा भी मिल गया एक बंदा भी चाहिए था पीछे जो कारीगर हो वो बाजवे की शक्ल में वो भी मिल गया इफ आई हैड द टाइम आई प्लेड अगेन वी एग्री we have never seen such an excellent coalition between the Pakistan government and the army, a government that sacks ministers and replaces them with army generals. Do you know who Imran Khan's new advisor on information and broadcasting is? Asim Salim Bajwa, a retired lieutenant general of the Pakistan army. Do you know when Pakistan heard about a lockdown for the first time? At an army press conference by DGISPR Major General Babar Iftikhar. Do you know which provision has been invoked under the lockdown in Pakistan? Article 245 of Pakistan's constitution. Under this provision, the high courts of all provinces in Pakistan lose power. And Pakistan's military is in charge of, quote unquote, imposing law and order in aid of civil authority. The coalition is indeed what Sheikh Rashid Ahmad calls it. Excellent. The Pakistan army is making the most of this pandemic. It has officially been made in charge of most governance roles, while Imran Khan puts out videos with rosaries in his hands and tears in his eyes.